Hello, my name is Alexia Smeltzer. Hi, my name is Karen Winsack. Hi, my name is Will Hobbs. And today we're going to talk to you about the Coca-Cola Bottling Company Consolidated. So a little information about Coca-Cola Bottling Company Consolidated is that they're the largest independent bottling company in the United States. This makes them the third largest bottling company in the world. Coca-Cola Bottling Company Consolidated employs over 17,000 people. They make, package, and deliver to a variety of locations like stores, restaurants, entertainment venues, and offices. They started in Greensboro, North Carolina, just 26 years after Coca-Cola was founded. Um, they were founded in 1902 by J.B. Harrison, which is the current chairman's great-grandfather. They produced the first, very first glass bottles for sodas. And the canned drinks were produced in 1950. Coca-Cola Bottling Company Consolidated was the first company to introduce water um, into their bottling company and they started disarming water. They bottle and distribute sparkling beverages such as Coca-Cola, Dr. Pepper, Sundrop, juice beverages like Minute Maid and Club Juice, work performance drinks like Powerade and Powerade Zero, tea and coffee like Gold Peak and Dunkin' Donuts, dairy products like Fairlife and Core Power protein shakes, as well as energy drinks like Monsters and All Simple Throttle. Coca-Cola Bottling Company Consolidated only deals with beverages, whereas Pepsi makes beverages plus they also deal a lot with food. Some of the foods that Pepsi sells is hummus, Quaker oats, chips, nuts, and cereal. This creates quite a profit for Pepsi Company. Right here we have 54% um, of their food revenue is in food revenue. 43% of that is Frito-Lay North America. It, this is 2018 financial information. And here for Coca-Cola, bottling company consolidated, 69.9% of their revenue is with sparkling beverages, and 30.1% is for still beverages, um, including energy drinks. So one problem that we believe that Coca-Cola Bottling Company Consolidated is facing is that they have a low product diversification. Clearly, because Pepsi sells multitudes of different products and they have quite a product line and diversify, whereas Coca-Cola only deals with beverages. So one, um, one solution that we think would really benefit Coca-Cola would be to diversify into um, dealing, selling other products. And especially, um, we think one remedy would be adding healthy food options. Uh, people are much more um, health conscious these days. They, they want that option where it's not going to be just a bad food choice. They, they want to eat better. Society's really moving towards that. And um, Pepsi has those healthy food options like hummus and Quaker oats and nuts. They're, they're branching out with that area whereas Coke does not have that. So we really believe that this is going to benefit Coca-Cola Bottling Company Consolidated tremendously in their revenues. So 
so Coca-Cola produces a much higher net income than Pepsi does. But Pepsi generates a much higher top line revenue because they have such a diversified portfolio. If Coca-Cola owned more than just one healthy brand, such as Dasani, then they might be able to have a higher top line revenue than what Pepsi has. So if Coca-Cola had, um, also Pepsi consecutively has a higher dividend than Coke, granted from their more diversified portfolio than what Coke has. So we think if Pepsi or Coca-Cola branches out more and has more healthier options than just the Sony, then we would be able to see a much higher top line revenue than Pepsi. 